What is up you guys? Welcome back to another one. If you are new to the channel, I am Gold Pony. I review cars on YouTube, also have Stangosaurus right behind me here. But today's video is gonna be a little bit different than what I usually do, because I was thinking the other day, got news that my press passes for the New York Auto Show coming next month have been sent in the mail. And of course, at the New York Auto Show, there's always new cars coming out that everybody is seeing for the first time, but also very, very expensive cars as well. So it got me thinking, what are the top 10 most expensive cars out there right now in the world? So that is what this video is going to be. So let's hop back in Stangosaurus and let's get started. All right, so let me start by mentioning this list is going to be production cars sold to the public, even if it's a limited production, but I'm not going to quote prices found at auction like the new Supra selling for $2 million or anything like that. But so starting with number 10 on my list, the 2019 Pagani Huayra. And so this number 10 car actually sells for $2.6 million. Powering the Beast is a 6 liter turbocharged V12, putting out 764 horsepower, 738 pound-feet of torque, 0 to 60 capable in 2.8 seconds, with a top speed of 238 miles per hour. But perhaps my favorite part on this Pagani is the interior, or perhaps the gauges. The whole interior is so unique compared to all other cars out there right now, so gotta appreciate that. Then coming in at number nine on my list, the 2015 Ferrari Sergio Roadster. And so this one was selling for $3 million when it was produced, and it did have a limited production of only six available to the public. So I'm thinking if you were probably one of those six, you could probably turn around and sell that for quite a bit of money right now. But powering this one is going to be a 4.5 liter naturally aspirated V8, putting out 605 horsepower, 398 pound-feet of torque, zero to 63 seconds flat with a top speed of 198 miles per hour. Number eight on my list, a car that has not quite yet come out yet at the time of this video, but is currently taking orders, the 2019 Aston Martin Valkyrie. This one is selling for $3.2 million, powered by a 6.5 liter naturally aspirated V12, putting out 1,160 horsepower, 664 pound-feet of torque. By the way, one of the most unique things about this one, the red line, it red lines at 11,100 RPM, that's ridiculous. And I thought the Honda S2000 at 9,000 RPM was pretty decent. I think the Aston Martin is gonna take this one. Zero to 62.5 seconds with a top speed of only 250 miles per hour. That is a ridiculous car. Moving on to number seven on my list, the 2013 Bugatti Veyron Vivier by Masonry. And Masonry is a German tuning company, but this one was being sold for $3.4 million, powered by an eight liter quad turbocharged W16, never get tired of saying that, 1,001 horsepower, 880 pound-feet of torque, zero to 60 and 2.7 with a top speed of 252 miles per hour. But perhaps the best part, in my opinion, there is carbon fiber absolutely everywhere in this Bugatti. Definitely contributing to that zero to 60 time shedding some weight off of this one. Then moving on to number six on my list, the 2013 to 2016 W Motors Lycan Hypersport. And for those of you curious, as I was when W Motors first came out, this is a United Arab Emirates based company. And this car was also recently found in one of the Fast and Furious movies, but this one sells for $3.4 million, powered by a 3.7 liter twin turbocharged flat six, putting out 780 horsepower, 708 pound feet of torque, zero to 60. 2.8 seconds with a top speed of 245 miles per hour with insane styling that looks absolutely like nothing else on the road almost like a batmobile if you will so quite an insane car coming in at number six which moves us on to number five Number five on my list being the 2016-2017 McLaren P1 LM. And I specify that because this one had a limited production number, once again, of six. Only six ever produced. LM, by the way, meaning Lazante Motorsport, another tuning company. However, this one sold for $3.6 million, powered by a 3.8 liter twin turbocharged V8, 986 horsepower, 770 pound-feet of torque. Zero to 60 comes in 2.4 seconds. That's crazy. 214 mile per hour top speed on that one. 
Then moving on to number four being the 2013-2014 Lamborghini Veneno. And so this particular Lamborghini when it was produced sold for $4.5 million. And this particular car was actually produced to celebrate Lamborghini's 50th anniversary. Powering this one is a 6.5 liter naturally aspirated V12, 740 horsepower, 509 pound-feet of torque, 0 to 60 in 2.8 with a top speed of 221 miles per hour. Number three on my list being the 2006 to 2010 Koenigsegg CCXR Trevita. This one's selling for $4.8 million. That's quite a bit of money. Part of the reason being is there was only two cars ever produced. And this Koenigsegg was specifically known for its diamond pattern carbon fiber weave. Powering the beast is a 4.7 liter twin supercharged, don't see that too often, V8, putting out 806 horsepower, 679 pound feet of torque, zero to 60 in 2.9 with a top speed of 249 miles per hour. Moving on to number two on my list, the 2005 Maybach Accelero. Interesting thing about this car is there was only one that Maybach ever produced. It is a one of one car and it sold for $8 million. Powering my number two car is a 5.9 liter twin turbocharged V12, putting out 690 horsepower, 752 pound feet of torque, zero to 64.4 seconds, top speed 218 miles per hour and rumor has it since this is a one of a one car who is the owner i was curious of so i did a little research rumor has it that this one of one car actually belongs to the rapper named birdman or otherwise known as brian williams so well done birdman for snagging this one and then lastly on my list of top 10, the most expensive car ever manufactured by a car company is the 2018 Rolls Royce Sweptail. And this is roughly based off the Phantom Coupe. And the back end of this one actually looks strikingly similar to a yacht. But so then the question everybody wants to know, this one sold for $13 million, powered by a 6.75 liter twin turbo W12, 453 horsepower, 531 pound feet of torque, 0 to 60 time comes in at 5.6 seconds, top speed of 150 miles per hour. But all those numbers may not seem all that exciting compared to all the cars I just went over. But this one is more so known for its luxury rather than its engine or the acceleration. Although it'll definitely still get up and go without a doubt. But just to elaborate on some of the high end finishes found on this one. In the back, that 08 design that you're looking at there, that was actually milled of aluminum before being hand polished and put on the back. Typically those those emblems are made of plastic on just about every manufacturer out there, but typically not milled from ingots of aluminum and then hand polished to finish it off. Also in the back, this Rolls Royce has a custom wood cabinet in the rear with a mid shelf that's illuminated with a glass lip. That's definitely very unique. And to finish it off, there are wood trims absolutely everywhere, but not just any wood trims. The most rare wood that one can find put in this Rolls Royce, including an open poor Paldeo wood veneer trim and that is the most expensive car in the world so that is about it for this video you guys hope you enjoyed this one switching it up a little bit on the channel but it's always fun but anyways be sure to like the video and subscribe feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen there and I will see you guys in the next video stay gone